All right, here's the last lesson for uh, Algebra 1100, pages 32 and 33. These are called complex factoring. Just calling it complex makes it sound hard, doesn't it? <clears throat> All it means is that there are multiple steps. And actually, the steps aren't too hard, so let's take a look here. This looks really complicated. It looks complex, doesn't it? So the first step is we want to see what is the common factor that we can factor out of the whole thing. And I can see that all of these I could take out of 3, okay? And I can see that I can also take out M. Now, some students try to just do this in their head and jump to the two parentheses, and you can't do that. <clears throat> Even as a teacher, I need, I need to factor out the 3M, and that will give me 12Y squared plus 4Y minus 5. Okay? So now we have um, a trinomial, we call this, three terms. We factored out the common term, and now we can factor this. And so we have to think of different numbers. Remember the previous video where we tried to think about, is it 2 times 6? or three times four, or maybe it's 12 times one, okay? And then for the last term, it's either one times five or five times one. That's really the only two combinations that will give you five. And then you use the FOIL method and see which one will give us the positive four Y in the middle, all right? And if, that's, if this step is a little confusing to you, go back and watch the video for pages 31 through 32, and uh, I think you'll get some help to finish a problem like this. Let's see if we can find the common factor here. Well, we have, they all have an A in it, but it doesn't look like, I could factor two out of these two, but we don't want to do that. We need to factor something out of all three terms. So the only thing that will come out of all of them is A. So that's our first step. And then we're left with 8x squared minus 2x minus 3. Okay? Leave the A as part of the answer. Set up your two parentheses. I know this has to be 3 and 1. There's only, it's the only combination that will give you 3. And then we have to try different things to uh, get the 2 here in the middle. We can try um, 4 times 2. And that might actually work because for the middle here, 2 times 3 is 6. And for the outer, I get 4. And somehow between 2 and 4, I mean, 6 and 4, I think I can get that 2 again. So I'm not going to take that one any further. I think you can play around with trying the pluses and minuses and uh, figure out which one will actually work. So the first step is factor out the common the term. And then in your final answer, you do leave that as part of the answer. And then you'll have these two parentheses, the two binomials. And uh, check your work by doing the FOIL method to get this step back, and then you could distribute the A times all three of them, and you should get the original problem back. Again, they, uh, this is a little more complex, but they only have um, you know, eight, eight to ten problems like this for your homework, so uh, it shouldn't be too hard. And if you need more practice, um, I'm sure there's some websites where you could find some more similar problems and try solving them, and uh, make sure you feel confident before you try to do the checkup, and then you're at the self-test and pace test. In the next pace, we'll move on to some different content altogether. All right, I hope you do well.